Hi there everybody, it's Richie here uh, from Richie's Room, checking out the beta version of Cortana from Microsoft, and it's available now on Android. So we're going to pit it against the Google service. So let's give it a go. Uh, we'll start off by being a bit cheeky and getting Google to open Cortana for us. Okay, Google, open Cortana. Nice one. Okay, let's ask it. Where is the nearest frozen Coke? Okay, so we've got uh, some kind of answers here, but it's mostly from the web. Let's try that with uh, Google. Okay, Google. Where is the nearest frozen Coke? Here are some matching pictures. All right, so it's showing us that. And then I could guess I could go uh, to the next step and say, okay, Google, where is the nearest McDonald's? Here are addresses for McDonald's. Okay, so it kind of understood that I wanted to go to a shop and actually get one right away. So um, that's probably one up for Google. Let's try another question. Uh, let's go back to Cortana. What time does the zoo in Australia's capital open? All right, so it's given me the Australia Zoo uh, information links, um, but didn't actually answer the question. Uh, I'll give it another go because it looked like it didn't understand it. What are the opening times of the zoo in Australia's capital? All right, so it gave me again some information there. Let's try to ask exactly that question uh, from Google as well. Okay, Google. What are the opening times in Australia's capital zoo? National Zoo and Aquarium is currently closed and will open at 9.30 a.m. on Monday. All right, so uh, it understood the question. In other words, what are the opening times and also that the capital is Australia and the zoo there. So. I guess that's another one for Google at this stage. All right, let's try um, app integration and see how it works with, for example, Spotify. Open Spotify and play Metallica. Okay, I'll ask one more time because I didn't get the question exactly right. Open Spotify and play Metallica. All right, so it's not actually using the onboard app. Let's try. Okay, Google. Open Spotify and play Metallica. Sure. Okay, so I, get, I didn't actually start the song, but I guess we could start the song ourselves. So almost got there, opened up the app, and then, um, yeah, okay. So we, yeah, we can we can give that again, I guess, to Google for actually opening the app. Um, didn't go all the way though. All right, let's ask a calculation question. What's 100 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? 100 Fahrenheit is approximately 37.78 Celsius. All right, so see, it's pretty, pretty easy to handle that. Okay, Google, what's 100 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? 100 degrees Fahrenheit is 37.78 degrees Celsius. Okay, good stuff. All right, let's try something a bit different. Tell me a joke. Did you hear about the motherboard who ran away to join the circuits? Okay. All right. So that was a bit of a lead in because we all know that uh, Cortana has been given a fair bit of smarts when it comes to the humor side. Uh, let's try and see whether um, our friends over at Google do it. Tell me a joke. And no, uh, they don't want to do it. Okay, that's fine. Um, what else shall we do? Let's try... Uh, okay, I know.
What is the best smartphone? Oh, so we have Cortana on Android still suggesting a Windows phone. Okay, let's see what Google's answer is. Okay, Google. What's the best smartphone? Okay, it doesn't actually give an answer, um, but it gives you some links to some articles. Uh, okay, interesting there. All right, uh, let's try a couple more and then we'll um, finish up. Uh, then we'll go to uh, Cortana first. Show me movie times around me. Okay. Now at the moment it looks at US movie theaters near me. Obviously there's none of that. Um, maybe it doesn't have any local information for Australia yet. Okay, Google. Show me movie times around me. Here are the movies playing near Rydalmere. Okay, so it did give me kind of the information I wanted, which, uh, which is, uh, again, a little bit better than what Cortana gave me. Uh, let's try a kind of subtle weather question. Let's see how we go. Should I wear a jacket tomorrow? Okay, I'll try that again. Interesting. It did catch it, but then it went back to that. I'll maybe just... Should I wear a jacket? Hmm. Should I wear a jacket? Okay, it seems to have freaked out. Uh, look, I might kind of just restart it. See how we go. Should I wear a jacket? I don't think you will need a jacket, Rich. It's currently 11 and partly cloudy. Um, yes, I think I would need a jacket based on that weather. That's an interesting question. I mean, answer to the question. Uh, okay, so let's, um, let's go to Google and see what they say. That is actually quite interesting. So it's saying I don't need a jacket, but actually it's freezing cold. Okay, now we'll look, I'll let that one slip past the keeper for the time being. Let's see what Google say. That's an interesting answer. Okay, Google. Should I wear a jacket? It's 11 degrees in Rydalmere right now. Okay, so it didn't actually answer the question. Um, so Google didn't answer the question, um, and Microsoft, or sorry, Cortana told me that I shouldn't when in fact... I should, really should, because that's, that's really cold right now. <laughs> All right, so let's do one last question. Uh, let's have a look. How old is Elliot in E.T.? Okay, so it came up with what we wanted, but didn't actually give the answer. So let's give one more to Google here. How old is Elliot in E.T.? According to Wikipedia, Henry Thomas is Elliot, a lonely 10-year-old boy who longs for a good friend, which he finds in E.T. who is left behind on Earth. Okay. Robert McNaught is Michael. Cool, very much. So, yeah, answer the question, he's 10 years old. Very good. All right, cool. So that gives you a roundup of what uh, Cortana brings to the table currently. Um, but what do you think? Would you switch to Cortana on Android? Is that something that... You might do, given that you know we probably might be using Microsoft Office on our um, Androids these days. Uh, let us know in the feedback and uh, the comments below, and I uh, look forward to your comments. Until next time.